yo, what is up everybody? It's B Militant, and welcome back to the channel. And today I have a quick overview of the new NVIDIA GeForce Experience beta program. Uh, if you do not know what the GeForce Experience uh, software is, it is a software that people like myself who have NVIDIA graphics cards can use uh, for free. It's a pretty powerful software. Um, it does a lot of things. Uh, it can scan your computer, find what games you have on your computer, it can optimize them for you. Uh, it knows what hardware you're using on your computer, so it helps op optimize the games. Uh, it has the new uh, updated drivers. If any new drivers come out for certain games and things like that, it'll, it'll notify you and tell you, hey, this is available. Um, you can also record your screen. You can also record your gameplay. You can stream from here. You can stream to Twitch. You can do things like that. So it's a pretty good program. Um, also, one of the biggest things about this program is, like I said, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, um, this, this program helps uh, keep strain off your CPU because what it does is it uses uh, extra RAM and things like that from your graphics card to help record or stream or whatever you're doing with this program. Your graphics card is also chipping in and helping out, so that way uh, your CPU is not taking all the hit like it would in some of the other programs. Um, and I'm actually using OBS right now to record this only because uh, you cannot look at the settings for recording and things like that while you are recording with this program. But besides that, I do use uh, GeForce Experience to record a lot of things. Um, but for streaming, OBS has a lot more options. Uh, but let's get into it. First, the, the biggest, one of the bigger things that have changed is the look. The look of this program... Um, it looks really good. I like the new sleek design, the colors. I like the colors. Um, it just looks formidable. It looks better than it did before. Here on the home screen, you have all the games that you have on your computer. Uh, you can go to this tab. You can scan for all the games. You can optimize your games. Uh, you can choose to have it not optimize your games. You can do whatever you want. Um, and then over here, you have the drivers tab, just like uh, the last one. Uh, it tells you what drivers you have installed, and then there's a new driver. Uh, it tells you stuff about it, um, and then you can also download it from here, uh, so that's good. Um, over here, you can go to settings uh, on the general here. It just has general things. The account, I'm not going to show you because that has my personal information, but also you can change your little avatar. Mine is uh, Link from Zelda uh, Games. Uh, yet again, you can uh, scan your computer for games and things like that. If you have an NVIDIA Shield thing, uh, this tab is for you. Don't know too much about the NVIDIA Shield uh, and don't really care. But uh, let's get into the meat and potatoes here. Uh, what's changed about the best part of you know this, this program is the recording and things like that. So if you go to the share, um, this is going to pop up. Uh, you have the instant replay, which is like the ghost recording, which is like your computer is always recording what's going on for the past 5, 10, 20 minutes or whatever. It goes up to 20 minutes. So if, you, if you're just playing a game or something like that and you want to record uh, what just happened and you don't always want to sit here and start a recording and then stop a recording, you can just, just hit your uh, hotkey. Uh, the default is Alt F10 and then it'll it'll pop up and say your last 20 minutes of gameplay or your last 20 minutes or of your screen was captured and uh, so that way you know you've captured it recording is just like I said you can start and stop your recording with uh, hot keys you can also um, save screenshots there's a gallery now which is new um, you can stream uh, other people playing or something like that I think and you can also broadcast uh, you can stream to uh, different platforms um, so let's go into the instant replay. Um, first things first, if you turn it on, now there's this new thing up here where it's going to tell you instant replay is now on. Also, if you start and stop a recording or you save your last uh, ghost recording or whatever, you save your last 20 minutes of uh, recording or whatever, that same little icon is always going to come up here on the top right. And it's going to tell you, hey, recording has started. Hey, recording has stopped. Things like that, which is awesome because in the last... Um, GeForce experience it did not tell you that so sometimes you're sitting there wondering hey am I actually recording right now let me go check my file and see if it saved that or whatever now it will always come up here and tell you hey we're starting the recording or your last 20 minutes was saved or whatever which is awesome and also I have tested it and found out that that little icon on the top right is not in the recording so that way if you have gameplay or whatever that little thing will not be on your screen uh, when you're recording so uh, now we have instant replay on. 
if you hit upload, um, it's going to bring up this here, which is new. Uh, so say, you know, I, well, since I started it, it's only been 55 seconds or whatever. So uh, the last 55 seconds was recorded. And you can also sit here and you can move this and you can choose from what point of the last 55 seconds I want to save and upload. Uh, you can change the name. You can upload it uh, to uh, YouTube and things like that uh, or just save it, I believe, which is good because before uh, you could not do that. You could not change uh, what parts of the video that you saved. Um, so that's good. Uh, to actually mess with this stuff, you have to turn it off and then you can go to customize. Here is where you can save your replay length up to 20 minutes long, ghost record up to 20 minutes long. I normally keep mine on four or five minutes just because uh, that's how long game, uh, rounds last in the games I play. Different qualities, um, different um, resolutions. I keep mine on 1080 because that's what I'm rolling with. Uh, 60 FPS, which is pretty good. Um, you can change your bit rate. 50 is pretty good. Um, OBS, it can... It has more uh, customization. You can do more than that, but 50 is pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to save that. Uh, going over to record, um, you can start recording, but customize the same thing. Change all this stuff. Uh, that was in the last one as well. Uh, streaming, I don't really know too much about that. Um, nothing really happens when I do it. Uh, but broadcast, you can customize it. You can broadcast to Twitch or YouTube. Um, you can now stream up to 1080 uh, 1080p HD 60 FPS, which I don't think the last GeForce experience you can do. Um, you can change the bit rate, um, so that's new, uh, and you can start and stop that. Uh, the gallery is new. Don't know too much about it. You can just save pictures. Uh, you can mess with your your webcam, your audio. Uh, if you go into the settings here, you can connect. You can connect to Google, Imgur. Uh, YouTube, Twitch, I only have mine on Twitch so far. Um, you can do the same old overlays, status indicator, FPS counter, if you, you can choose where you want it. Viewers, how many people are viewing you. Uh, I don't really use this too much. Uh, keyboard shortcuts, they are all the same from the last GeForce uh, experience. Uh, Alt F10 will save your last ghost recording however long you have it on. Alt F9 will start and stop recording so you can manage it yourself and then all these other ones they're all the same uh, also now on broadcast um, you can choose where you're broadcasting to and also this is new you can choose a custom overlay uh, from your computer to put up on your screen while you're streaming to twitch or whatever so that way you can have your name or whatever uh, I believe that is new and that's awesome um, they're really getting into the more streaming and stuff like that, which is good because they need to come up and rival OBS, which is right now the best streaming um, software. It has the most that you can change and customize. Gallery, privacy control, and you guys, I think that's about it. Um, so I, I really like this. Uh, hopefully they roll this out to everybody. Uh, you can go to their website and download this. I like the new sleek design. Uh, I haven't tried the streaming yet. But all the recording stuff has worked. I've used it to record. Everything works good so far. Uh, I don't think, you know, I, I don't see why there would be anything wrong with the streaming. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys have not checked this out, you should check it out. Uh, it is a good rival if you are just trying to record your screen or you're trying to record gameplay or you want to stream without doing a whole bunch of overlays and stuff like that. If you just want to stream, uh, do it easily and, and just have you know, basic stuff going on. This is a good program. Um, my name is B. Milton. If this has helped you out, uh, please give it a like on the video. Let me know what you guys use. Have you used GeForce Experience with before? Uh, or are you like most people and use OBS? Um, I'm really glad that there's a new program uh, that's actually worth using coming out. And also it helps, you know, on your computer. It helps your CPU not take all the load. Uh, so that way... Uh, recording and stuff like that goes smoother and people with lesser PCs can record more. Uh, so thanks for watching guys. See you guys in my next video. Peace out.